Hey everybody. Today we're doing stem and leaf plots in R. A stem and leaf plot, also known as a stem plot, is a single variable visual representation of data, particularly well suited to a small data set. It's supposed to help give you intuition into the shape, center, and spread of the data. We're going to do two examples. First, we're going to use the built-in faithful data set. Let's take a quick look at it. There it is. The faithful data set consists of 272 observations of the eruption length and waiting time for the old faithful geyser in the United States. These measurements are all in seconds. So the basic command to do a stem plot in R is, fortunately, stem, and then you need to give it the name of the variable. So here we're looking in the faithful data set, and the variable we want, let's go ahead and do waiting time. There we go. Notice the key at the very top, the decimal point is one digit to the right of the slash. So the first couple of values in this data set are 43 and 45. We can tell that just by looking at the stem plot. Notice that R has automatically split the stems um, so that the, for example, the 40s are broken into between 40 and 44 in that first stem and 45 and 49 in the second stem and so on. Now we can override that the argument that's important to know here is scale. And the number that you pass it is going to tell R um, by what multiple to lengthen or shorten up this stem plot. So here I want R to not split the stems, so I'm going to make it half as tall. There we go. It's not necessarily any better looking, but it's a good illustration of how to use that argument. Okay, um, let's do a second example. I want to do um, of the, this data here, this is 20 observations of reaction times in milliseconds to a visual stimulus by participants in a research study. As before, let's just start with a basic stem plot. Okay, so the decimal point is two digits to the right of the slash here. So three slash one is going to mean three, one, zero. Notice that there's some rounding going on here. The minimum value in the data set is actually 309. Um, so there is a little bit of data lost in this case. As before, we can change the defaults here using the scale command. So let's mess with that a little bit. We could do scale equals 0.5, um, but I think that uh, gives us even less intuition to the shape of the data set than our original stem plot. Probably what we actually want to do is to double the length of this stem plot. Okay, great. So notice that the stems have now changed from being a single digit to now being two digits. Now when we read the first few values represented in our data set, we, we see 307 and 309. Notice that the next stem listed is 32 rather than 31. So what's going on here? The data starting with 3,0 and 3,1 is being pushed together into a single stem. So the first couple of values in the data set actually could be 3,0,7 and 3,0,9, 3,1,7 and 3,1,9, or some combination of stems starting with 3,0 and 3,1. So there is a little bit of information potentially lost here. Now the leaves are still um, going in increasing order, for example 7 and then 9. So for some of these stems, we can still reconstruct all of the data. For example, down here, where the stem is 44. The 441 must correspond to 441, in other words, the stem 44. But then the next leaf with a 0, 440, must actually correspond to 450, so that it's actually a larger value in the data set. What if we don't want to skip values when we look at our stems at all? If we don't want this 3, 0, 3, 2, 3, 4 stuff. Now we have to make the scale even larger. We want this to be five times as long as our original stem plot. And now we have a stem plot that includes um, all of the data that does not skip stems um, and is therefore what we wanted. Now, I think that this display is certainly not the best. It's too long, um, and it makes it hard to see what's, what, shape, what patterns we really have in this data set. I think the best of our options was probably either this one or our original one that R started us off with. 